Hi friends, it's Jennifer from Adventures in Storytime and today I'm going to share some of my favorite finger plays and songs to go with an ocean theme. So we're going to start with the five little fishies swimming in a pool. The first one is going to say the pool is a little cool. The second one is going to say the pool is really deep. The third one is going to be tired and want to sleep. The fourth one is going to say let's dive and dip. And the fifth one is going to see a ship. Are you ready? Let's go. Five little fishies swimming in a pool. The first one said the pool is cool. The second one said a pool is deep. The third one said I want to sleep. The fourth one said, let's dive and dip. And the fifth one said, oh, I spy a ship. Along comes the boat. The line goes curse splash. And away the five little fishies dash. The line was a fishing line and they didn't want to get caught. All right, we're gonna do that one again, and this time I want you to use your other hand because we want both hands to get some exercise. So let's get these fingers loosened up. So five little fishies swimming in a pool. The first one said, the pool is cool. The second one said, the pool is deep. And the third one said, I want to sleep. The fourth one said, let's dive and dip. And the fifth one said, I spy a ship. Along comes the boat. The line goes curse splash. And away the five little fishies dashed. All right, great job. And anytime we do the five little somethings, it's good to do it twice and get both hands a workout. We can work on our fine motor skills for both hands. All right, now I'm going to do, we're going to do a fun song. And this is based on a tune I'm sure you know, The Wheels on the Bus. That's a very versatile song you can use for a lot of things. Instead of The Wheels on the Bus, we're going to do The Creatures in the Sea. And we're going to, we're going to start with fish swimming. And then we'll do different ones. You ready? The fish. Fish in the sea go swim, 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 swim. The fish in the sea go swim, swim, swim all day long. Which we do now. Oh, crabs. What do crabs do? That's right, they pinch. The crabs in the sea go pinch, 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 pinch. pinch. Pinch, 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 the crabs in the sea go pinch, 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 all day long. Now what should we do? Oh, jellyfish. Ah, the jellyfish just kind of float and let their tentacles hang down. The jellyfish in the sea go float, 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 float. The jellyfish in the sea go float, float, float all day long. Now what do you want to do? Oh, I heard someone say clams and they go open and shut. Good suggestion. The clams in the sea go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams in the sea go open and shut all day long. Now what should we do? Oh, dolphin. Good. They go up and down when they swim. They like to swim like this. So the dolphins in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The dolphins in the sea go up and down all day long. Now, okay, a whale. What does a whale do? Let's see. Oh, they like to splash with their tails. You want to do that? The whales in the sea go splash, 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 
Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. The whales in the sea go splash, splash, splash. All day long. Oh, octopus. Good one. Do you know how many arms an octopus has? That's right, eight, and they go squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. The octopus in the sea goes squiggle, 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 squiggle. The octopus in the sea goes squiggle, squiggle, squiggle all day long. All right, now we'll finish with a shark, and the shark goes chomp. The shark in the sea goes chomp 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 the shark in the sea goes chomp 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 all day long oh great you guys had some good suggestions and there are probably lots more you can do so when you sing this at home you can try all different kinds of things in the sea that you can think of all right, for our last song, we're gonna do one that's a little slower, and this one has to do with the food chain, so be prepared. So we're gonna start with a little fish, then we're going to do an octopus, and then we'll do a bigger tuna fish, and then a great white shark, and we'll make the shark's dorsal fin for that, and then we'll end with a big orca whale. Are you ready? Okay, this is called Slippery Fish or the Octopus Song. Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by an octopus 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 squiggling in the water octopus octopus gulp 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 oh no he's been eaten by a tuna fish tuna fish tuna fish swimming in the water Tuna fish, tuna fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by a great white shark. Great white shark, great white shark, swimming in the water. A great white shark, great white shark, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by an orca whale. Orca whale, orca whale, swimming in the water. Orca whale, orca whale, gulp, gulp, burp. Excuse me. Sometimes when you gulp your food too fast, it makes you burp. And you should always say excuse me. All right, and now I have a few book suggestions for you, and we'll start with I Spy Under the Sea by Edward Gibbs. And this is a good one for the younger kids because it's nice and short and simple, and the illustrations are simple and bold with nice heavy outlines. It has all these cutouts, and in the cutout, you'll see an eye peeking and then you'll see another part and there'll be a clue so i spy with my little eye something with stripes and then a second clue i have a funny name what could it be you'll have to check this out and see and this book starts at seven and counts down to one. So this is really good. And there are, are others in the series um, besides the one under the sea. 
Now, our next book is a classic that you may already be familiar with, The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason. And this one is great because it's very repetitive and the kids really like saying the repeating line along with you. And it goes like this. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Glub, glub. Glub. Now, do you think the pout pout fish ever gets cheered up? Does he just keep spreading the dreary, dreary wearies all over the place? Check it out and see. And there are several other books about the pout pout fish now. So if you've already read the original and you want to try something else, look for some of the other stories with the pout pout fish. And my next suggestion is called Somewhere in the Ocean. And it is written by Jennifer Ward and TJ Marsh and illustrated by Kenneth Springer. And this one is a takeoff on the classic Over in the Meadow. And we saw with the I Spy book, it counts down from seven to one. This one counts up from one to 10. So it's somewhere in the ocean. So, and it starts like this. Somewhere in the ocean where the warm waters run lived a mother manatee and her little calf one. Nibble, said the mother. I nibble, said the calf. And they nibbled and they nibbled in where the warm waters run. All right, and I like this one a lot because as you can see, the illustrations are very realistic, but they're not too busy. Um, I like that it shows some animals you don't always see in other ocean books, like the manatee. Um, it also, uses several different colors so you can work on your counting on your colors on identifying different animals the things they do sounds they make and then what I really like about it is at the end there's a lot of factual information about all the animals shown as well as some of the other things that are portrayed in the pictures so you get um, informational material as well as this Oops. and the final thing I almost forgot to show you is it can also be sung and here it gives you a page of sheet music if you want to play it and sing it instead of reading it so there are two different ways to share this book and then finally for independent readers or newly emerging readers there is Dr. Seuss's One Fish, Two Fish, Red, Fli Red Fish, and Blue Fish. All right, so those are today's suggestions. And I hope you enjoyed the songs and finger plays and get a chance to do them at home. And remember, if you can check your local library for these books, and if they don't have the books I suggested, I'm sure your local children's librarian can suggest some other great ocean books for you. And don't forget to check out digital resources as well. So um, that's all I have for today. So have fun and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.